Good evening, I'm Brooke Welch, a semi-driver recovering in the hospital tonight after crashing into a bridge under construction on I-69. And this isn't the first time a semi crashed into the bridge this month. Now state officials are urging drivers to pay attention. WFFT's Cody Butler is live in Allen County to explain. Cody. Brooke, as you can see, the FedEx truck is still here in the creek as crews tried to figure out how to get it out of the construction zone. That's because construction season's in full swing across Indiana. Now, NDOT and the Indiana State Police are asking drivers to slow down and follow the signs so you don't end up like this. We remind drivers to pay attention to the posted speed limits. Just before 7 this morning, a northbound FedEx semi with two trailers went off the road and crashed into the bridge, sending packages into the creek below. This is the second time in a week crews spent the day cleaning up after a crash. Another semi crashed into the same bridge at the Allen County, Wells County line a week ago. Two crashes, even though they are similar, doesn't necessarily mean that there is a problem with the work zone. And that says it's not clear if the project will end on time after this truck crashed into a concrete pillar down below. We'll have a team of experts working to determine what damage there is to the bridge being reconstructed and how we'll address that going forward. Crews are reevaluating the work zone to see if any changes need to be made. This is a unique traffic setup that moves drivers onto the median bridge around the work zone. That's why it's imperative that drivers pay attention to those signs because you may not be expecting that. But Indiana State Police Sergeant Ron Galvez says that shouldn't matter. And those signs just aren't mere suggestions or, you know, I, I would do this if I were you. They actually have the effect of law. So if we stop you for violating that particular speed, that's, that's what the citation is going to reflect. He says police are watching work zones across the state. And we've been sitting in these construction zones since, since their inception uh, this, this spring, and we will be there through the entirety of the, the varying projects. We want everyone to get home safe, whether our workers or drivers, people driving to and from work or through the state. We want everybody to get home safely every night to their loved ones. There were no constructions here at the site when either crash happened. Right now, the Allen County Sheriff's Department is still trying to figure out how both semis crashed into the bridge. The driver of this FedEx truck was last listed in serious condition. Reporting live in Allen County tonight, Cody Butler, WFFT Local News, first at 10.